Hello. Hopefully you can hear me. I think you can. Hi, it looks like today's one of those days when your faith is restored in human nature. I've been after one of these mixes for absolutely ages. Um, it's not exactly the one that I want, but it's the next best thing. And there's been a guy on Facebook that has one that's faulty. He couldn't get it working. And um, he was so good. I mean, he lived about 60 miles away and he's actually brought it to me because I'm without car at the moment. And he's brought it to me, which is really good. And he only wanted a few quid for it. Um, but he showed me what he's been doing with it and how he set it up and how he had it working and it, it seems to have uh, died as in it powers up but we can't get any um, audio out of it so I'm just playing with this today um, I paid 20 quid I gave him a little bit extra for fuel money because he was a nice chap and I'm just going to see if I can get anything out of this but it's such a lovely mixer I do love these old analog mixers Okay, I thought I'd got this working then, but it's not. It's it was just, I could hear some music, but it was coming from my other CD player. Um, all right, I've picked up one of these. I have always wanted one of these. Well, this is the um, this is actually the eight thousand. I've always wanted the nine thousand. Uh, well, I didn't even know there was an eight thousand, but there is. At the moment, I can't see the difference between an 8,000 and a 9,000. These normally go for about 400 pounds. Well, between three and 500 pounds, which is 400 pounds, <laughs> isn't it? Um, and I've been playing with this only for about 20 minutes. I've got it powered on. The gentleman said he couldn't even get it powered on, but it is powered on because there is a channel light that's on there. And I think... Yeah, the power supply even proves that it's on, which is just there, if you can see the light. It's got a massive 400 watt external power supply just there. Um, and I've picked this up for 20 quid. I have got this for 20 pounds because the guy has had it for six months and can't get a peep out of it. Um, and at the moment I can't get a peep out of it, but I haven't. I, I, I haven't played with that. I've only listened to what the guy said. Now, the guy does work, not as a studio engineer, but he, he, he does work in a studio. And so I've listened to what he's told me about this. And it doesn't make sense with the experience that I've had with mixers. Sorry, I hate having a wobbly cam. Um, I hate watching people on YouTube with wobbly cams and I'm doing it so let me put the straight cam on so you can see the reverse picture so I've got a CD player now I'll just tilt this forward we've got inserts here which you may be able to see can you see where I'm poking my hands no I'm just out of so I will have to go back to wobbly cam I mean, if I can't get this working, then um, I will sell it for parts. I'll get me 20 quid back. But as I say, I've always wanted one of these. So he said it should always be an insert to get the fader working. That's, that's, I don't believe that's true. And so he's been trying it on insert. He has tried it on line in and he's got absolutely nowhere. Um, and he said these don't work, which are the LEDs which represent, you know, the individual volume of it. But they weren't, none of them were plugged in. 
you see these cables here, these flexi cables? Bit of a bad design. Well, there's four of them. None of them were plugged in. And you don't have to take it apart to plug them in as long as you get a couple of little screwdrivers. So I've plugged both of those in. And the only difference that has made is I've got a channel light which is lit up now. Um, so I don't think he is right when he says it must go in the insert. I have tried absolutely every configuration over the last 30 minutes while trying to do this insert thing and um, I can't get it to mutter. There, there is a chance that this is um, even a waste of £20, but um, let's see what we get with line-in. Line-in makes sense to me. All of my mixers are line-in, so I don't know why he was quite adamant on the insert thing, um, but anyway, let's no. try line-in. So I think it should go in line-in. And then, so I've got it plugged into a little discman here at the moment. Nothing very exciting, but I should be getting sound out. And, oh, look, 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 look. Now, I didn't have that before, but I've only just plugged this in. So the VU is now... So that is now operating that. I've got left and right... Now, main mix is very important. It's not going to work unless you have your main mix. The ones and twos and threes and fours and fives and six are, are the buses which drives the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. But you don't need any of those pressed, but you do need the main mix pressed. I've got it on the studio output, uh, which he said he's had it on studio output. He's also tried the external output. Um, there is balanced outputs as well, and he can't get... He can't get it working on either of those. But the fact that now... Let me just test that that is coming from my CD player. Stop. Yes. Press play again. Yes. Is it? Okay, just wait a second. Yeah, that was definitely from the CD player. Yeah, there we go. That's going again. So I've got it plugged into my old desk here, so we should be hearing something. In fact, that comes into the computer as well. So when sound arrives, if we get any sound, I should probably be best. You see, it's, it's definitely getting an input. The master is up. And it's coming through the studio level, which is there. Because that says studio output. So there's got to be another switch here. There's got to be a main switch which operates the bus, which takes it to the main output. It's not on the studio level. You see, we've got main mix pressed there. Oh, that, yeah, we've got main mix down. Balance left and right. I don't know what that is. That's not doing anything. Uh, no, no, that's the main mix. Hey! Ooh. Cut that. That's it. Oh, blooming phone's ringing now. Blooming phone's ringing. Hang on, let me get this. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Um, so that works. I've got Steely down in the CD player, so I've got to watch. Um, but you can tell from the output. That's brilliant. So left, right, or maybe right, left. So that is working. These will operate, as I say, these are the buses. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, if I go back to these faders here, and if I press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I possibly don't have to turn those up to get these buses working. But no, do I have to press them in for the mix? Okay, I would have thought, oh, okay, so I've got to turn that up as well. I didn't think those had to be up. That's still not right. It should do them individually. Uh, just to explain, you're hearing an echo or a slight echo because it's coming out of the PA speakers as well as the line into the computer. So you're kind of getting a double feed. Not that it matters, but I just want to test that they're all working. And they are. The CD player's just being a bit... Yeah, they're working. So all it was, he didn't have the ribbon cables plugged in. He was talking about the insert, but it's always line in. It's never insert, but he, he insisted it was insert. He hadn't got the main mix on here. And I hadn't got the main mix on there. Which means after a clean up, This is going to be a really good mixer. Well, a bargain for 20 quid. It does want a bit of a clean up. Um, I mean, it's much too powerful for my needs, but then again, so is that one. But I much prefer this one. I should be able to do all sorts with this one. So I don't think this is faulty at all. He originally thought there was a fault with the power supply. There's no fault with the power supply. It's getting 18 volts plus and minus, plus I've got a power supply 18 volts plus and minus from my old powered mixer, which would have done this, I'm sure. And the faders are okay. I mean, I'll attach a few CD players and mini discs and stuff like that to the other inputs. But. This is working. This just needs a clean. I am over the moon. Um, as I say, I've always wanted the MX-9000. Um, I can't tell the difference at the moment between an MX-8000 and 9000. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. I would love to get some of the original uh, lights that clip on here. Sure, you can buy those. They're just 12 volt DC and there's ones that go either side. Um, I bet they're on eBay. They should be on eBay. I'm really pleased with that. So once again, with all the buttons correctly pressed, uh, because it is a complicated machine. This is not a simple analog mixer. Um, this is, will do things that, well, I won't even live long enough to know what it does, um, but to use as a straightforward, nice recording mixer for the radio shows, as well as helping me edit all the YouTube videos, that is great. Okay, probably going to get a copyright strike for uh, all the Steely Dan, but I'll shout copyright Steely Dan, see if that gets me away with it. But I'm not bothered, I've got this all sorted. I run to you. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a, oh it's brilliant, 20 quid for this. So why is, why is a guy that works in a studio not familiar, why was all these why were all these unplugged? And why insist on the insert? Whoever's told him insert. Uh, I'm sure the insert does work somewhere, somehow. But I just want line in. 
I can't wait to get this up and running and into service and being used. It'll give me hours of pleasure. That's brilliant, 20 quid. Okay, well the backlights have arrived for this, or the edge lights have arrived for this TV, so I'd uh, better get on with this and then I can put this in next week sometime because it'll give me a chance to tidy up the jungle of wires that is behind all that. There is lots of rubbish behind all that. But Eurodesk MX8000, if anybody has got one of these and can help me with anything, in particular the lights, anything I need to know. I mean, one day me and my boss would strip it down and we'll give all the contacts a really good clean. Um, but until then... One is very happy, very happy indeed.